morning students my name is mohit and i am mathematics teacher in mount utra z school jhansi today we will talk about hcf this is from chapter factors and multiples now what is hcf hcf means highest common factor it means that factor which is highest in in among all the numbers like hcf is the greatest number that divides two or more numbers without leaving a remainder you can calculate hcf of two or more by the following two methods first is hcf by prime factorization methods for example if i say find the hcf of 44 60 and 36 by prime factorization method what will i do i will take out the prime factors of all the numbers individually like 2 22s are 44 2 11s are 22 11 ones are 11 like this for all we will find out the factors now we will write the factors in the form of this multiplication now we will take out the number common which is in all among which is common in all the factors like for example 2 2 2 is in 44 60 and 36 also like this here 2 also but none other number is common in all the three numbers now so we will take out this common and write it like this now by multiplying we will get the hcf so this is the method of hcf by prime factorization i hope you understand now we will study the second type of method to take out the hcf now second method is hcf by successive division method so now for example calculate the hcf of 762 and 1270 so what do we need now we will do the question in just few steps for example if i say first divide the bigger number first divide the bigger number we we will divide the bigger number by the smaller number first so it will go in one time that 762 1 the 762 so the first remainder will be 508 now this first remainder is 508 now what we will do the remainder you get which is the first remainder okay now the first divisor will be divided by this first remainder now so what we will do that is 508 1 the 508 so the remainder is 554 now this is the second remainder now we will continue this until we get the remainder zero now again this second remainder that is 550 uh, 254 254 will divide the first remainder and this first remainder that is 508 will work as a dividend so 550 254 by 2s are 508 so the remainder will zero it means the last remainder that divides the number completely without leaving any remainder for so that number will be the hcf so 254 will be hcf now here's homework like homework so what you need to do you have to take the screenshot of that and you can practice at home for example the first question is find hcf by prime factorization method so the first method which i have told you you have to do this these questions by that method now second question is find hcf by successive division method in this question also you have to do this by this successive division method so you will understand this chapter better now i hope you understand the video so all the best students